Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound. My name's Tech Corsa and today we're going to continue work on the Gothic Victorian build. Um, let's see, I'm going to build one more house on this side, a little watchtower, and then we're going to move on to the other side of the cathedral and start work there. So that's kind of the plan for today. Uh, if I do anything else, I'll let you know during the time lapse. But anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Um, thank you guys so very much for all the support you've been giving me throughout this entire series. It's just been absolutely amazing and mind-blowing and all of those other blown out of proportion um, verbiages. <laughs> But anyway, so something that I forgot to mention in the last episode that I do in this episode. Actually, it's been a couple of episodes coming, but we hit 200 subs. Yay. I just gave myself a round of applause. That. Oh, no, I'm not going to live that down. But anyways, um, and another thing, um, just to kind of point it out, I don't know if any of you asked about it but so the reason why the houses are lifted up from the road is so I don't have to walk through them or so you don't have to walk through people's houses to get through and that's the one thing I do not like about vanilla villages is that you have to walk through all the houses or jump over them but with a four block gap you can walk under them but anyways I also put in a town well between a couple of the houses. Um, I thought that was something that was kind of fitting. I of course fill it full of water. No, not overflowing, but regardless. I um, also had to um, do some more landscaping terraforming work, whichever one you want to call it. Still have not determined which one I'm using. Oh, and the reason why I put in the concrete background is because it, quite frankly, does not matter what's in the background because it's going to be covered up by blocks anyways. So if there's no background, that means there's no chance of light showing through, all that sort of good thing. And, you know, it's the same technique as before. Make sure that the top six to eight blocks are what I want to see, and then just fill in the rest with whatever. All right, and I've also put in another market on this side of the build. I kind of felt it was an appropriate buffer, like I said the last time I talked about the market. And this is going to be the last Victorian Gothic style house that I build. Um, the rest are going to be uh, mostly cheaper, cheaply constructed houses, we can call them that. Um, basically, houses that aren't rich houses, they're not poor houses either. That just seems to have like a negative connotation to it. Not the bad taste in my mouth. But anyways, um, basically the houses I'm building are small one-story houses that probably don't even have enough room for a bed and other furniture, but... It's the, kind of the style that I was going for. Um, yeah, I mean, really, that's all I can say about them. They're not supposed to be rich houses, but, you know, it's just places where people live. Oh, and I think I've said it in the past two episodes, but I'm going to say it again. I don't like building with snow. I hate constantly having to re-delete the layers that form on top of my structures. That's all really, that's just really kind of annoying. It just builds up no matter what I do. And the side effect of having to build houses that are off of the pathway means that they either need stilts or a foundation. And neither of which makes sense in this context, so we went with stilts. Alright, well that's all the time I have for today. Um, I added in the rest of the houses that I wanted to add in. Um, next time I should be working on a detail pass, um, finishing up the last bits of the cathedral, adding in some furniture, and all that other good stuff. 
but that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I do run a daily Starbound Let's Build series. Um, if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is, leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.